Jasper Huffman hit Dave Stacy coming off turn two. David Hutto and George Crenshaw were also involved. The recent heavy rains made the grass a skating rink, and Stacy's car slid all the way to the dirt embankment, flipped over it, and amazingly landed on its wheels in Lake Lloyd. Rescue workers waited for the 29-year-old Enon, Ohio driver to clear the cobwebs before he got out. Car upside down, rolling here in the trioval, and another car spinning. That's Edward Howell in the 07. Yes, it is. Or, well, we'll stand by for that. Oh, I guess it... Oh, it's George Crenshaw. That's right. That's George Crenshaw in a 07. Boy, the car made uh, contact with the outside wall and began a series of barrel rolls. Clear down uh, past the entrance to the pit area. Yes, that's right. George Crenshaw. He and, and Howell were running team cars. Howell had the 70. I'm right. sorry. Something to you. Oh, Hall. oh, we have a spin. And a couple of cars upside down. That's Hopgood. That's and Jake Hopgood. I mean, Will Hopgood, 65. And the other car is 48, I believe. A.J. Frank, yes. So two cars upside down. One of them is still upside down. Oh, here was a three-wide. Jimmy. Oh, 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 oh. Contact, and Jimmy Foster's on his side. Down the back stretch. More cars coming through. Scott Freeling is involved. One car spinning around upside down down the back straight away. And it comes to rest on all fours as the field tries to get slowed down. Allison there to, to the right of him. Let's see if we can see what happened to Danny Bagley. Wow, car tumbling side over side. The windshield is gone. Parts and pieces flying off. The tires are gone. The axle, the rear end is gone. Motor parts out of the car. The hood is gone. The roof is gone. And see the roll cage? It comes down on the roll cage, but he is secure in that seat. Still buckled in with that five-point seat belt when the car comes to a rest. Yeah, the one thing that happened to it was the car kept moving. It kept throwing pieces away from the car, and it kept dissipating energy, like Jerry said before. And like we talked, there's been some big wrecks here today. There's been some bad wrecks. This was a big wreck, and this was a bad wreck also. But uh, to watch him crawl out and stand up, and, and the crowd here, I know you might not have heard it at home on your TVs, but I'm going to tell you, the crowd was standing and cheering. They went wild. There's the rear axle housing laying on the grass. The rear end housing complete, both rear tires laying on the grass. And All right, here he, here he comes along. That's looking up pit road as a car goes by him. He's rolling side over side. There comes the rear end housing out. The windshield's already gone. The front tires are gone. Sheet metal peeled away. There comes the windshield down in one piece on the racetrack. The Lexan windshield and cars are going by. And I'm just thankful right here came by that hit him from the bottom side, like what happened to Scott Weaver when he was hit head on by George Crenshaw. Yeah. Time of day here again. And there we see him getting in the tire barrier. And wow. Pretty violent stuff. Yeah, it was a violent flip. It, it flipped really quick. Once it got up on the tires and got a little airborne, it flipped really, really quick, rolled really quick. Raceway in North Carolina, Scott Weaver sets off a yard sale. Car parts for a dollar everywhere. No spectators were injured. Thankful for that. Better than that or as good as that. Weaver not seriously injured. Belt bruises, black eyes, and told us he's ready to race again next week. That's how you do that. Trouble out of turn four. Big crash. One car upside down. A second narrowly misses the wall. And this was what we feared. 18, David Heights house goes spinning. And one car did a lid lifter. Is that 96 Jeff Underwood? It is. Next track comes Kelly. Oh, trouble. Big, big, big crash. Big. Turn three. One car upside down. I believe that's Eric Van Cleef, 82. Let's check that. It's 92. Jimmy, Jimmy Britz who had come from the back of the pack and at one time running the top five. There's Andy Lally, who won his class in the Daytona Rolex 24. 71, David Hutto, who had been coming up through the field with Lally. Now remember, this race cannot end under caution. And there, all torn up, is the 16 of Christian Elder. Well, the winner of this race, uh... What happened? Well, they're off in the first turn here. And I, 
Well, that, that 12 car got into the 82 car, and once they started turning over, oh, oh my gosh, the 71 car almost went over. Just nowhere for these other cars to go. No, that was Britt's, the last black car to pile in. And then this car, look, this last car here in the wreck, he finally gets between the apron and the banking, and he rolls over. The 12 gets into the back of 92 there. 92, shoots him up the track. Here comes the 71, the black He's car. He's got nowhere in. to go, and that's a huge hit. Oh. That's a huge hit. Now, keep a, keep watching that's back Elder. in here, and you're going to see. It's coming off turn two. Wow. Looks like the, the car on the outside got into the 0-2 car of Kelly Sutton, and then this is just chain reaction down the back stretch. Wow, that car slid half the backstretch on its roof. That had to be a wild ride. Well, when you're going 150 miles an hour and things happen. Watch for the contact. Well, there's the secondary contact. The 44 and, and goes And he spinning. was just a victim. Yeah. Uh, Kelly was just a victim down there on the low side trying to go around the wreck, and they got into him and got him up on his roof. Doc Brewer went spinning it and hit the inside wall.